Okay, uh, wait, what we're we doing now? Who was, was it Celeste that said she had something to say, or what? <laughs> there was also something that's been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. What's bothering you, Celeste? It's about Hina. Uh-huh. Me? You said your stomach hurt, did you not? Nah, but I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of SHOWING IT! What the fuck are you, Phoenix Wright? <laughs> it is called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? <laughs> what is that, Pinocchio something? Okay, what? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's no fair. <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes, I see. Why? Why would you lie about something like that? I'm Are sure you feeling is. guilty about something? No, that's not it after all. It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? All right. Sorry. What? To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The well. truth? I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? B but I mean ghosts what are... See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Nina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then... Okay, I'll tell you. So um... It happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So I tried to cheer myself up. I thought I'd go get huh? some donuts. Donuts again? <laughs> and you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad yeah. about that. Anyway, please Bye. continue. Well... When I left my room and headed for the warehouse... But then I started hearing a strange noise. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside, and I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. Ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakness, mental, weak, weak and mental state. Well, then all we had to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it does a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? We're gonna go try and see a g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a ghost on you. What the heck? You can you can wait here if you want. I don't want to be a long time with you. God damn it, Yasuhiro. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Miss Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? <laughs> Figures. Oh, I guess that's a yes! Alright then. Alright, where's this bathhouse thing, Majiggy? Okay. So, um... It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. La la! Cthulhu Fatang! Shut up! What if he's actually showing up? Hina. Hina, where was that when you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well, well I heard a sound and. When I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Alright, where is this? Is this the locker you're talking about? There's something in the ground. Um, is this the lock? Oh, that's the slippers. <laughs> there was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is a laptop? 
what's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a it looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So it's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did that laptop get from the library to here? Seem... I and I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power's definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known for, as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps. More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light. Green light, yes. Surely you did not mistake in the light for the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah, uh... oh, man! If I had the loves clueless girls attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. <laughs> it's okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all dressed for depressed forever now? But listen, isn't there really strange? What's that laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it in... Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance camera. Whoa, what the Me. fuck? Precisely. There's no cameras in here. Which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're saying hmm. someone put that laptop hmm. here so the mastermind wouldn't be able to know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigate the laptop a little in a little more detail. Alright. What's the password? One 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 one? One 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 two? It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. Alright, so is that then. it? So, first of all, we have to wake it up. Right! Start hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green light. <laughs> and there was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There's the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego? literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of our personality. We can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. You really came! Master, you're here! Chihiro's face appeared, talking up the entire display, taking up the entire display. Oh. That's a ghost! Buddha! That's sweet baby Jesus save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. Huh? Um... Then, what was it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type, began hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. I always get, I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. Uh, that voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter ego. I've heard about this kind of AI programming, but I've never seen one my, for myself. AI programming? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of ultimate programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows a bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used the support vector machine and reinforced learning to develop it. Eventually, he be he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support uh, support vector. Oh my god. Okay, so Kyoko and Makoto's voice are way too similar to each other. So I somehow need to differentiate between those two. <coughs> Anyways, support vector machine reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. 
And if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? <laughs> okay, Yifumi, I will learn more about the AI infrastructures on my computer if I need to. But if the AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI might like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is what it is called. Alter Ego? A fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what your hero created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay Anyway, with so he fixed a broken laptop and put his own programming on here. That is what that means, right? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm. But you know, all this about master and whatnot, yes, yes. I I believe I'm on fire. <laughs> huh? I thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy. And also a computer program. It's also a computer I program. Feel as if... Oh! That aspect is no problem! <laughs> Who cares if it's a guy? If it has a hole, it's fuckable. I mean... Uh, that aspect? Anyway... Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed a very rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well... But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive numbers of files stored in this computer. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little bit longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they may contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of the school. <laughs> While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna take a while, but I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko type quickly. Keep it up, but d be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I've got a secret planned already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. <laughs> it's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That's fine during the day, but my time it is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you this? forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he can, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, but how about once it's nighttime? We can take turns guarding the dressing room. However, there's a good chance the mastermind won't notice us going all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then, once nighttime's open, I'll leave the door. I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss alter, alter ego yelling. But but if you're but if you leave your door opening all night, then it's true. There's a chance I might become a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. <laughs> I wouldn't go down without a fight. I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was something similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah. It had an entire different face for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped into a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on the battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts, but the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, um, would you mind if I ask a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while, but when we got here, I thought it was him for a butt. Is Master... For a split second, Kyo seemed to not know what to do. 
but she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. <coughs> Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew that chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow, like... I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't believe, I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Uh. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Well, the question is, how the fuck are you getting power from all this? I don't see uh, wires or anything. Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed... upbeat. Was it just because he was following this programming, or... could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be... Um... What's, uh, what's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing! I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then, we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well, well, if we can, if we take it out here and find somewhere that does have online access... Hey. That's way too dangerous! The Mastermind would find out in no time! Uh, oh, oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file's analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for the Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye! We'll be back. I promise! Oh god, Ifumi, you're such a lovable dork. Oh. Come on, Ifumi, let's go. I... Okay. <laughs> We figure out who Hufumi's wife who is now, even if that wife who has a penis, and we all left the dressing room. Alright, I think that's a long enough segment for right now, so we'll be right back until the next episode of Dan Gun Ropa. Stay tuned. <laughs>